Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I just wanted to quickly hop on and kind of go through how to track your calories. I do get this question asked a lot, whether in a caloric surplus or deficit. There's a few apps that you can use to track your calories and macros. Uh, my preferred app is MyFitnessPal, and I believe it's one of the very few fitness apps that has access to, you know, a lot of available nutritional information, and it just makes the whole tracking process a lot easier and gives you a bit more flexibility that way, so you have a bit of a balance you know, with lifestyle and working towards your fitness goals. So we'll quickly jump into the app. So this is what the main interface looks like. Of course, you'll have to create your own personal profile and go through the setup process, which is very simple and straightforward. We're gonna skip through that just to speed up the process a little bit. Um, so at the home screen, you have your uh, total caloric intake goal for the day, how much you've consumed um, and how much calories are remaining. Um, at the moment, I'm not eating too many carbs during the day just because I feel like it's a bit unnecessary. Um, but that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> so to log in a product, it's extremely simple. You have two ways you can do it. So if you go to the food diary and select add food, you can actually just look up um, the product. So let's look up, for example, rolled oats. Rolled oats, um, of course, depending on the product, let's say, you know, you can be more specific with it. Look up Cole's brand. Um, so there's a few alternatives depending on the product that you've selected. Um, or the, I find the most easiest way to do it is at the top right corner on the search food bar There's a barcode icon which you can actually select and So let's use this um, Whey protein bottle for example. It allows you to actually scan the barcode of a product So it automatically looks it up and displays, you know, the calories um, The macro split how much protein fats carbs, etc. And to look at how many grams of fat, carbs, and protein you've um, taken throughout the day, there's a pie chart icon in the top right, and that just shows um, how much protein, carbs, fiber, sugars, fats, um, saturated fats, cholesterol, sodium, and so on and so forth. Um, so it's extremely detailed. Um, some of the things you know you don't really need to worry about unless you're being really particular or you're prepping for something specific like a photo shoot or a competition. Um, but essentially all you need to take into account is protein intake, carb intake, and fat intake and kind of learn how to manipulate that according to your, you know, your body. So when you sign up to MyFitnessPal and create your account and set your goals, it automatically sets up your caloric intake. And you can actually adjust that if you go to, um, if you go to me, go to settings, and then scroll down to diary settings. And at the bottom, you'll see edit goals. So here's the data that you logged initially and you can manipulate this to um, customize your caloric intake, whether or not you're gaining or losing weight too fast or too slow. And to keep things a bit straightforward, just for now, um, if you're getting way too fast, just drop the calories. If you're getting um, way too slow, increase the calories. Just depends on your goals. And again, how your body digests and process fats, carbs, and protein. I like to consume just enough carbs to help fuel my workouts. Um, anything in the excess I feel like is unnecessary for the meantime at least. I'm trying to stay in a decent condition, not too lean, but not too, um, not too fluffy because I do have a tendency of retaining water. Um, so all these little variables you kind of learn as you progress through your own fitness journey. Um, it is a continuous learning process. I've been training for six years and to this day I'm still kind of understanding how my body responds to certain foods. And that process would be the same for you. It's all about learning and kind of creating consistent variables that you can use to measure and continuously adjust in order to work towards your fitness goals. It does sound very complicated, but if you break it down, it's super simple. Anyways, I'll leave it at that. I hope that made sense. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message at The Mendoza or at I Am Fit. Um, we'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And if you're really struggling to work towards your fitness goals and struggling to see progression, feel free to book in a free consultation and we'll talk through it and talk about the sign-up process if you're interested in being coached.